Palmecentrets prioriterade teman för Turkiet är demokrati, mänskliga rättigheter och EU-integration. Och våra prioriterade målgrupper inom ramen för det, det är kvinnor, barn och ungdomar och minoriteter. Och inom ramen för det så har vi startat ett samarbete med HBT-organisationen Kaos GL sedan 2006. Eh, och det har varit bra på så sätt att de har också uppmuntrat andra HBT-rörelser i, i Turkiet att organisera sig eh, och, eh, och bilda nya föreningar. Eh, vilket är väldigt positivt. Eh, för att då, då stärks eh, kampen för HBT-rättigheter ännu mer. Så, so, uh, you want me to start here? Yeah. Okej. Okay. Uh, our office is not... Uh big comparing uh, with RFSL office we have some three rooms <laughs> and this room is uh, where I am working so we are eight in our office uh, since 2006 we have been cooperating with RFSL uh, by support of all of Palma Center uh, the main activity is to publish this Chaos uh, magazine and to distribute it and this is the main uh, idea because in 2006 we had some difficulties, some financial difficulties to publish the magazine and we needed uh, a support to publish it and that's why we, we put this as an activity in our project and, and we really thank to all of Palme that they are supporting us for, for printing our magazine because our magazine has, uh, has a value for us, it's, it's, it's more than a magazine for us because it's already 16 years we have been publishing it and it is the first thing we started to do. Where is the last one? And this is the last issue. We just got it uh, three days ago. It's honor of Judith Butler because there is an interview with Judith Butler because she is uh, one of our guests uh, in our uh, the meeting against homophobia. And in 2006 we had uh, a local correspondent training and they are still writing for our website and uh, our magazine. So they are, they are really uh, good things uh, came uh, from this project. Last year we put a new, uh, new activity, um, workshops in the, at the universities. It was also good uh, to, to go to universities just to talk about homophobia and being LGBT because because uh, what I realized, I, I have been all of them. I was one of lecturer there. So what I realized there, uh, people have no idea about even what is gay and what is lesbian. And we just let them to ask any kind of question uh, came up their mind. So we, we, we said, don't put any limitation yourself. You can ask anything. And they really ask an, anything. So we answered them, we discussed and we talk about homophobia and the participation was perfect. Chaos <laughs> GL uh, has founded in '94. Uh, Actually, people started to uh, to came together in '93, and after almost one year they decided to publish a magazine and this cost GL magazine you know and they just wanted to give their voice to the public and but in 99 uh, the state said that okay you cannot distribute this magazine uh, like this anymore so you have to uh, register so cost GL magazine was registered to the state and it became a legal uh, magazine so there was nothing wrong to distribute it and uh, in 2004 we started to think about becoming a registered association and in 2005 we applied to the Ankara governorship to be registered so um, and after one month I think or one and a half month uh, the Ankara governorship went to the court uh, to request the close down as this association because for them um, an LGBT association means uh, immoral.
contrary to general moral because we have this term in Turkey, general moral. It's written in the laws even, but we don't know what is general moral exactly. I, I, and, and it's too open. We don't know where it starts and where, where it ends. But we were lucky, and but it was also um, the European Union's pressure uh, on on our state, on our government, not to close down the association because it is the first LGBT association in Turkey, and we were lucky. Uh, our court was only once. I think it was not even a court. The prosecutor said that uh, being homosexual is not a um, something wrong or it's not a disease so like every citizens uh, LGBT people has right to assembly.